Oftentimes, we as parents have trouble making our children listen to us. Yes, we have trouble making them listen to us. And so, I made some research and I came to share with you ways on how to make them listen to you when you're talking to them. Yes, or when you're asking them to do something. Let's share them today here on The Wisdom Kit with Elma. Number one, make sure they're not distracted when you're talking to them. Yes, kids are a lot. They do a lot of things at once. She's playing, she's shouting, she's promising the other one, I'm coming. No, no, no. And you're also speaking at the same time. So how do you expect them to listen to you? So she, she, he or she may even say, yes, mommy, I've heard. But in reality, when she hasn't heard a thing. So before you know it, she has gone back to play when she hasn't done what you asked her or him to do. It may, it's because she was distracted in the first place. Number two, don't ask them do things beyond their age. Yes, age really matters. You're not going to call a, a, a four-year and you tell them, you know, you have to go and clean your room. Eh? Go, go, and, go and clean my room. Of course, they feel like what you're telling them is it's not the it's not theirs to take. Yeah? They will feel like what you're asking them to do is not their responsibility, so they won't do it. So when you're talking to these kids, uh, speak their language. Yes, age matters a lot. Ask them to do just in case you want him or her to do something. Ask for something within his or her age. Yes, don't ask a two year. To, to, to go to the kitchen to bring you food. Number three, look straight into their eyes when you are talking to them. Look straight. By doing that, it will help you not over-repeat yourself. Because when you look into their eyes, you will make sure they are also looking at you. And you will tell them, Hillary, it's not good to imitate people. It's not good. Did you hear what I said? It, I'm communicating when I'm looking straight at her because it's, it's not a, a joking subject. You know, it's not good to imitate people. Yeah, It's not good. It will look like you are joking in the first place. So look straight into their eyes and mean what you're saying. Make sure they're also looking at you as well. The next, the next, the next, uh, the next thing is, uh, you can also, just in case this child is stubborn, they are the kind that easily also forget. Make sure, you can as well make them repeat after you. You can make them repeat after you. So when I say Hillary, it's not good to imitate people. What did I say? It's not good to imitate people. What did I say? It's not good to imitate people. That way you'll be sure you have communicated. That is why actually even teachers at school who are handling these lower classes, they use that method a lot. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. So that way you will be sure they've taken in what you have said. And the next time they, they were going to make the same mistake, they'll be, ah, mommy told me it's not good to imitate people. And they won't do it. Why? Because it was a serious topic. You looked straight into her eyes and you made her repeat after you. Um, the other thing is, uh, don't be negative. There are parents who are so negative when it comes to their children. They keep throwing insults. You know, you know, you know I knew, you know, you know that child, just in case you're having fights with the dad. Eh? I think they will be stupid. He's stupid like the dad. He's stupid. You're so negative. Hmm? 
So this child already feels like they are useless because of your negativity. So if you want them to listen to you, you have to be positive. Yes, you have to be positive. Just in case you have seen a child who has done something you don't want yours to do, you'll be like, you can even bring it in a positive way. You know, I trust you, my daughter, for you so behaved. You can't do that. Not so, not so, Hillary. She'll be like, kids, uh, yes, mommy, I can't do that. Yet in reality, you knew she could do it, but you're, you're, you're indirectly stopping her never to, 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 to do it. So we have to, to keep away negativity when we are talking to these children because they take in whatever you're saying. They take in whatever you're saying. The other thing is communicate at a close range. Yes. When you want to tell this child something, don't, don't scream, Hillary, Hillary, what did I tell you? Huh? What do you think Hillary is going to tell you? Yeah? She will keep quiet and she may keep quiet for some time. Then she plays again. Or she will be like, huh? you will be like, have you heard what I've said? Yes, mommy. And she will go back to play. So when you want to really communicate something to this child, call them and let them come. Let them be close to you. Then you tell them, you know what? We are expecting visitors today. And you know what I expect from you as a good girl, not so? Yeah, you can help me organize the sitting room just in case it's not. It's untidy. You know how kids are, they throw the cushions all over the place and then, so the place is missing. And you know what? You know how to behave when the visitors are around also. There's, uh, I'm still giving an example of Hillary because that's the name I chose to use. But Hillary is past the age of being told that. She knows how to behave when we have visitors. Yeah. So when you want your child to take in what you're saying, communicate at a close range. In Uganda, they say, you, know, you, you want to put something into their head and you want to ensure they've taken it in. So don't shout, don't scream, don't, don't throw words or directives when you're this way. Let them come close to you. Talk to them when they're close to you. Be respectful. Be respectful when you're communicating to these children. And you should as well be listening and understanding. Don't be the commanding type if you want to win their hearts. You can tell them something politely and they'll get it. Yes, they'll get it and they'll do it. There are some parents who no, don't only knock, they, they throw insults at children, eh? not respectful at all. So these children also need to feel they are respected as much as they are young. They have rights. And that helps you as well because we are raising a generation where we want children to know their worth. We want them to know their worth when they grow up so that they don't take anything less. So if you are bringing him or her up and you're backing, throwing insults at them all the time, they'll, they'll get used to that. And even when they grow up, they'll settle for that. Why? It's normal. That's how even my mom or dad used to do it. Yeah. Make sure, make sure they're at peace in mind before you tell them something. Children also have things that stress them, that upset them. Hmm? He or she has been out there and they've abused her. So you call her and you talk to her, you know, she's already feeling hurt. Eh? You know, sometimes you hear them saying, ah, I don't want to play with you anymore. You have bad manners. She's hurt. So before you give them directives, before you communicate a point to them, make sure they are at peace of mind. 
Yes. Uh, make sure they are happy. And just in case they are not, first ask them, are you okay? When you call, Hillary, come. Hillary, come to me. First ask, are you fine? What is it? Do you want us to talk about it? Show them that you care about their feelings as well. Yes. It's not all about us because we are the parents. I gave them I gave birth to her. So she has to listen to me. Of course you did. You did. But remember, we are raising citizens that we hope and wish and pray they behave a certain way. So you have to treat them a certain way. Uh, the last one is uh, reward them. Reward them when they do something good reward them When I say reward them that doesn't necessarily mean giving them money or what no 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 You can reward them by complimenting them Yes When my daughter does something when Hillary does something and I thought wow, that's my daughter. You are the best She can even blush it. Hmm, thank you, mommy yeah? But if you just keep showing them that, just in case they've done something, they had to do it. That's, I ask them to do it. They, 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 it's their responsibility. Of course she had to, to do that. She had to keep the house clean. Hey, they as well have to feel appreciated. They have to feel appreciated. Hmm? By you giving them those rewards. If you can, you have many children at home. Then Hillary, you know? Oh, Derek is behaving so different from the others. He's leading a very good example. Please buy Derek a shirt and you tell the others, you know what? You see this? I bought it for Derek. Why? It's because I never asked Derek to greet me in the morning. Derek knows when he wakes up, he has to brush his teeth, he has to bathe. Derek knows after taking tea, he helps mom with the kitchen to, or to wash the dishes. Derek knows that da, 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 da. you give them the reasons. And they also feel like, oh, I wish it was me. What does that mean? It's going to call for change in behavior at home. Why? Because we all have those new shirts. We all, we all wanted it, oh, mommy, to buy us new shirts. Just like they did to Derek. Yeah. So, uh, when we do these things, we shall realize it's easier for us to communicate to our children. We shall find it easy, because I have tried it and it's working. Yes, I did all the research. After researching, I tried. I already started implementing uh, those ways and it's working. It's working, trust me. But before that, huh, you call, you, call, you, 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 eh, you shout, you, you get a headache, you, you feel like, I don't know what to do to this girl. So, with those ways, we shall have our kids listen to us. That has been it for today. It's me, Elma, here on Elma's Corner. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell so that you get a notification every time I upload. And um, share. Share this information with those fellow parents who are having trouble communicating to children, who are having tr trouble making their children listen to them, they'll be grateful indeed. It has been the wisdom gate. I'm out of here.